Dude, how funny is... Oh, initially, we were going to talk about Tom Myers. Oh, yes. The um, king. Tom Myers is uh, the greatest comedian of all time. Ab- my favorite stand-up comedian. Um, if you, if you want to know more about Tom Myers, go to YouTube and type in Ed Schrader Show. <laughs> and that's S-H-R-A-D-E-R, Tom Myers. And Tom was a guest on Ed's like a surreal talk show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's funny. So the whole the setup is is it's supposed to be like an it's supposed to have this like weird. It's a troll talk show. It's basically. A, yeah, it's a troll. It's like a hipster ironic talk show. Right. So to the extent that even the announcer for the show is some guy that's like, and your next guest, like he's doing a dumb voice, like everything's supposed to be bad. And they got the best comedian you could for an ironic talk show. Absolutely. Which is Tom Myers, who the King uh, looks baby. like Steve Buscemi, dresses like Bill Hicks. You know what's funny about Tom Myers is Tom Myers had that hairline and had the solution to that hairline, which is that weird comb over thing that he does <laughs> at like age 21. When I met him, yeah. I was like 16. He was uh, 16 or 17. And I'm like, oh, this guy's in his like late 30s. Absolutely, you. He he looks 15 years older than he is. Yeah, and he was like 21. But uh, the, I got on the Tom Myers tangent because you remember at his album recording, he did yes. that that joke about like he just slid it in there that his parents already have a grave for him. <laughs> yeah, they bought <laughs> they bought a grave for him, a grave, a grave plot for their son next to theirs. So because he lives with his parents, yeah. he lives with his parents, calls little league baseball, and works at Seven <laughs> Eleven. He was the chairman of the Harford County Young Democrats. Until he literally aged out of it. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, you're too fucking old. <laughs> yeah. So then he like, oh, man, he is so Did he good. come back from... He retired from comedy for... No, a did he? I don't think so. Yeah. You should check it out, guys. Seriously, Tom Myers. We were present. Both, both Nick and myself were present for the recording of... I believe it was something like Pitchforks and... He has some really strong imagery. Another, yeah. He had an album called uh, "Words of Mass Destruction." Words of Mass Destruction, dude. <laughs> Scathing criticism of the Iraq War and uh, and pot, pot as in marijuana, which uh, he calls pot. Bong hit transplant. Bong hit transplant. <laughs> that's that's. By the way, bong hit transplant is the is the punchline to a joke. Go find it. You'll really enjoy it when you figure it out. It will make that, a lot of sense. <laughs> It really should be the punchline to every joke. <laughs> yeah, would you get a bong hit transplant? <laughs> what the fuck is even a bong hit transplant? It's like he's he's like pretending like he knows what weed is, but also pretending like he knows what like, what medicine yeah. are. <laughs> yeah. um, and my next guest is none other than Baltimore's own comedian Tom Myers. <laughs> Love to meet you, Tom Myers. You gonna do some stand-up, Tom? Tom Myers! Hey, love, Tom! Love to meet you, Tom Hey, Myers. hello! Hello! How are you guys doing tonight? Everybody having a good time so far? Yeah! Yeah, I'm in kind of a weird mood myself. I was on my way down here. I stopped at a convenience store. I'm waiting in line to pay, and the guy in front of me puts down a dozen donuts, two big bags of Doritos, one of those cheapo one-gallon bottles of a generic brand fruit punch, and a nasty old rotting banana and he turns to the clerk and says to him my girlfriend just had an operation she can only eat certain things i look at him i look at him and i go yeah right what did she have a bong hit transplant (laughs) (laughs) that guy's in here right now isn't he oh shit So it's an election year. It's an election year. You guys all excited about this election coming up? Yes! Yes. Actually, yes! Me, me, I'm an Obama person, but me, I kind of, part of me kind of wants Hillary Clinton to take the Oval Office. No, 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 okay, okay, hear me out, hear me out. What's the first thing Hillary Clinton's going to do when she gets in office? Get back, get back, no, get back at Bill for all the shit he pulled. That's why I'm going to apply to be an intern. (laughs) I quit smoking. I quit smoking, though, so I don't know if that'll affect my shot. But uh. when I was in school, I studied history. My favorite piece of history to study was the American Revolution. Why do I like studying the American Revolution? Well, I like it because 
not because it's the laying of the foundations of democracy or how ordinary men can rise up to fight against the evils of tyranny. I like that people were able to grow an incredible amount of pot back then and get away with it. That's why I love studying the American Revolution. Yeah. All those who really support me behind that are going, I'd applaud. I just don't feel like lifting my arms, dude. <laughs> They don't like puns, I don't think. They don't like the pun. Okay. And a lot of advocates who want to legalize marijuana use that too. You ever notice that? They say, well, we should be able to grow pot and smoke it because our founding fathers grew pot and smoked it. Our founding fathers, the same people who had to physically fight for the right of this country to exist, smoked pot? I don't think so. How do I know this? Because I've tried pot, okay? Remember, I did take this course in college. <laughs> I'd love to, man. I'd love to. But if I tried it, I know that me and anyone else who has smoked pot can tell you after you smoke pot, you do not feel like going off and fighting a revolution. If everyone smoked pot back then, Paul Revere would be galloping down the street like, I think the British are coming, dudes. Luckily for me, I got enough. I can share. <laughs> You guys have been a great crowd. That's my time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Tom Myers, a comedian. Uh, yeah, she put a bag moldy of chips banana and a moldy old banana. <laughs> also, I've never even you? seen a banana Shouts out to the moldy. king. Yeah. <laughs> That's I miss not him so at much. all what stoners eat. I said, yeah, right. Would you have a bong hit transplant? And then everyone at the 7 Eleven turned to me and began applauding. <laughs> For I had created the greatest joke of all time. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. People, start, people are doing that, dude. Did I ever tell the story about uh, the show at the Hamilton Arts Collective with Tom Myers? I believe the one with the, the TV. Yeah, with the TV yes, that he wheeled this is out. great stuff. I don't know what if I happened? told the story or not. Uh, so Tom <laughs> you haven't had, told it. Tom, <laughs> Tom, Tom had a tour of comics one time. He like, put together. Well, he goes, I told Andy Klein, I'm like, yeah, Tom's got his own uh, tour now with comics. It's him, Brett the Irish comic, Cat Malone, and uh, I think, I can't remember who else was on it, and fucking uh, Andy Klein goes, what's it called, the shitty comics? <laughs> <laughs> it was even better, though. It was yeah, called the Heathens the of Comedy. Heathens of oh, comedy. they're bad. <laughs> the fucking yeah, Heathens, bad. dude. And the logo was a burning cross. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was. Oh, you got yeah, that's MySpace. like a KKK. Thing. I know, Tom yep. just didn't know. <laughs> he thought, it, he thought it meant like set Jesus on fire. Yeah. Oh yes, <laughs> yeah. yes. Uh, oh yeah. Tom, so big I, Tommy. No, the the Hamilton Arts Collective had 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 the Heathens of Comedy. There it was hosted by Lucy Fur, which was just a videotape of Brett the Irish comic wearing sunglasses in front of a fireplace. <laughs> And during, hosted by a video yeah, dude, Tom, Tom, during Tom's the job yeah. that's only about energy and getting the fucking audience involved <laughs> Tom did a fucking like hour and during his set after every setup, Tony Grasick starts going uh, Tom Myers Tom Myers so before he gets to the punchline everyone's chanting his name and then he says it and then the response is yeah you know, he like peters out so he's, not, he's like bombing to chance <laughs> <laughs> the king the uh, once and future king oh yeah. god no that show was bizarre like i mean he he ate it and he ran off stage crying and oh no they, uh, Cat Malone, don't pretend like you give a shit dude it's You're sad fa and they this cry. fake performative empathy you have dude, for let people me virtue you, signal dude for for people that you mock have you ever met tom of Adam, course you, i met tom. you've had the least I've had the least, uh, definitely the least. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when I met him, I was already a fan. Yeah, and his yeah, reputation yeah. preceded him. Well, so he was he was crying, but then you watch him like almost like in a second in his head as the tears are drying on his face. Go no. It's society that's wrong. You know? <laughs> and, then he, and then it's like, I killed. Tom you know? is Hillary Clinton. <laughs> yeah. He immediately, basically. Yeah. It's the same personality oh, type. God. They also have the same body and haircut. <laughs> 
<laughs> also, the same taste in sunglasses. <laughs> it's weird. The more I think about the Tom, Tom Myers, Myers and Hillary, Hillary Clinton, Clinton uh, <laughs> it's true. It's probably from, it's from her pussy, which he ate. Hey, oh, that's no, how you become she Hillary never got Clinton. You. She's like a werewolf. <laughs> if you eat her pussy, you turn yeah, into her. I can't. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. I, I, I hear she's hiring interns. <laughs> the best part of that joke is the adjusting the belt. He says, oh, yeah. <laughs> he says she's probably probably gonna hire some interns yeah, right. and adjust the bill. Uh, oh. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, like a like a 50 year old plumber <laughs> showing up to eat some <laughs> pussy. <laughs> so Gotta post, adjust the bill. Postmenopausal, <laughs> cobwebbed pussy. <laughs> oh, shouts out to Tommy. Wait, uh, yeah. Dylan told that story about how his brother, uh, Dylan Meyer's brothers. Yeah, uh, Tom was his waiter at a Mexican restaurant. Oh yeah, that's yeah. right. No, there's a YouTube of him like touring that Mexican restaurant as if it's like going to be the new hot comedy venue. Yeah. But I think it was pretty much just a place that he was working. Yeah, well, props to him for getting a waiting job. He was he was wor- he worked at Seven Eleven. Yeah. yeah, that's just that story up. about the bong hit transplant about being in line behind someone is a lie. He was working at Seven <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> Oh. Which you know everybody's got to everybody's got to work a job. I would take a Seven Eleven job if I had to. You know when the bottom falls out, I'll be working. And you say Thanks, that so, some of your jokes though have gotten you into a little bit of trouble, right? So why keep telling them? Yeah, because it's my job. Mm-hmm. You know, it's no different than you know a police officer running to the scene of a crime or a firefighter running into a burning building. It's what I do. You know? So we listen to Make America and Nate, Nate again. I'm so night. jealous. Yeah, I was. I mean, in, you can listen to it at any time. Nah, it was it's about, it's about the experience. It really, did needs, it. it really needs like a deep read. It needs to be. It needs I, a might, I might write. Theater. I might write a review of the album. I tried to get us detail. to do. I would tried to get us to do that uh-huh. for the last one. Remember? Yeah. But there was like yeah. legal problems. Like we're probably stealing his content. Yeah. Shit. It's also. I guess at this point I've blown up Tom's spot enough yeah. that it's like all right, it's too late now. Might Should, as well talk about him. Can we do his bonus episodes <laughs> a a track by track? Yeah. <laughs> like well, the, what we were doing was like you have to unpack every joke, so you got to pause yeah, it and every, then conver- every, have a conversation. About every it. single yeah. thing he says is yeah. it opens up with uh, "Hello, Haver de Grace," which <laughs> is incredible. Like, just a, Nobody knows what yes, that is. That is yes. a random nope. city in Maryland, not yeah. city. That it's is a, a, it's random, a town with a population a of probably like. Seven thousand. It's a yeah, place. Like Bel Air is their downtown. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they go to Bel Air, Maryland. <laughs> it's just a place. The only thing I know about Haver de Grace is that that's the place where they bottle Pepsi products. Nice. That was the that's thing. Okay. I, well, then I, knew I was take a it kid back. about that was like a piece of. Yeah. Because I remember being Pepsi like, "Wow, Club. that's all the Pepsi is bottled in Maryland, but it's probably done regionally anyway." Yeah, sure. So, yeah. uh, but I remember thinking that was like. Like yeah. cool, you know. There used to be a horrible like show that, there. in some roundabout of way. Course. That made me famous because I lived in the same state <laughs> as the place where, where they bottle Pepsi. Where they bottle Pepsi, and you couldn't even use that unless you were out of state. By the way, right? You have to go to like Pennsylvania and be yeah, like, yeah. By the way, I'm from Maryland. <laughs> Pepsi ring a bell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, business cards. <laughs> By the way, where you lived was two and a half hours Probably, away. Probably, yeah. yeah. On yeah. the opposite side of the state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways. Even, hello, Haver de Grace. Yeah, ha- hello, Haver de Grace. Uh, <laughs> and then... Haver de Grace. He uses that. To t- he goes into a bit about after Hello, Haver de Grace about how he's old now. He's 35. He's not old. That's yeah. not an old age. And how he, he looks he old. He pees himself. Whoa. Yeah, about how he needs to yes. wait, <laughs> wait longer at the urinal because he pisses his pants. He was trying to go into like a my body's <laughs> getting worse bit, but it was yeah. just a, it was just a. Oh no. He was trying yeah. to say it because it comes because of age, but it's no, it's just because you have a horrible body. You, you don't know how to. You defecate and urinate your pants. Yeah, you don't know how to just wag your dick. Yeah, after pissing, he's like, "I gotta wait for all the like dribbles." A f- and four-year-old knows how to do. <laughs> yeah, you learned that. <laughs> Holy fuck! Yeah, yeah. Anyways, uh, uh, yeah. And then he says, uh, "You know, he's like he shits himself. That's also a problem." And then he says, "Awesome." Yeah, if you don't like that stuff, buckle up. I love that. <laughs> As if he's he's on the you're on the highway to the danger zone. Yeah. Is this a quick reminder? 
Zero difference between that and a firefighter running into <laughs> or a nine eleven first it's responder. Just, it's the same exact thing. <laughs> it's his job. Yeah, it's, it's his job. job. He's doing his job, and he's, he's his, his own boss. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. that's what the good part. Mm-hmm. About. Yeah, and then here, let me pull up the track listing now because there's there's I I I, I took mental notes with yes. the uh, there is a. Uh, I'm so fucking Current jealous. events, I think, was one of them. Oh, yeah. Uh, and he couldn't even... <laughs> the references are also incredible. Like, mm-hmm. his his reference pool is 1993 to 2003. Fuck yeah, dude. And he can't... Yeah, I wonder what Tom Myers listens to. Like, what do you think he just kicks back? Kind of music? Yeah. Whatever music fucking Bill Hicks mentioned. So it's like, you know, he probably listens to Hendrix. <laughs> or... <laughs> You know, like the, the ro- you know the Rolling Stones, man. Oh, now there's no. a band. What do you think he really to? enjoys, though? Um, um, Blind Melon, <laughs> um, all '90s stuff, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. That's really I, when I, he... I doubt it. I think I'm right in the things that I. I said. think he puts that on. What you're talking about is correct. He definitely he's a classic to rock guy to that. for yeah. sure. But do you think um, he likes? Yeah, he probably is. He's a bit called Life Hacks on the album, and there's not a single there Life Hacks. Not- <laughs> it's, it's about Christmas. <laughs> oh yeah, that Christmas <laughs> that Christmas thread was insane. Yeah. Woo! He was talking about how people fuck on the tree. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> he does, he does Las, Las Vegas, Vegas a lot, and they always send him out there. Yeah, he's, he's, and he's 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 makes a point of mentioning his booking agent several times <laughs> throughout the album. <laughs> so he's worked in. Oh my god, he just doesn't have that. <laughs> No, beyond yeah, booking does, agent. But I'm sure it's like Irwin. It's not a booking agent, man. Beyond it's a booking agent, email he, he has. books himself, dude. Yeah. He books his own tours. He talks a lot about his girlfriend. Oh, really? Mm. That is real. And man, he's never had a girlfriend. And, and about girl, his ex-girlfriend, who he's like... Yeah. My, my, oh, Chick Fil Yeah, yeah. Uh, Chick Fil A has got a a new uh, holiday they're starting. Awesome. It's ca- it's called Cow Day, Cow Appreciation Day, which is uh, my ex girlfriend's birthday. Yeah, which I, I celebrate on October fourth because uh, that's my ex girlfriend's birthday. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so wait, you celebrated <laughs> even though it's yeah, Chick Fil A? Yeah. It's like <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, the most insane bit on the. Because there's there's moments in there where like the joke structure makes sense, you know. Yeah, yeah. That, and yeah. so it's not that the problem isn't that Tom doesn't know how to write jokes. He knows how to write jokes. The problem is that Tom can't discern which of his thoughts are jokes and which are the ones of his like cognitive failure to process reality. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is. He's, he's so severely schizophrenic. <laughs> That he thinks things, and sometimes they're jokes, oh, and he writes them down, God. and sometimes it's just absolute nonsense. Oh man! Like, there's and a bit I think on, that's what makes a bit it on great that, There's a bit on the album where <laughs> he uh, he's he's talking about uh, Donald Trump's got a son, believe it oh, or not, yeah. and he's <laughs> he's so young that uh, you know I I I guarantee you Donald was thinking as at the moment of conception, oh geez, I don't know if this is gonna kill me. Implication being that, you know, Donald Trump's so old that he might have a heart attack ejaculating inside of a woman, mm. you know, to create a kid. Mm-hmm. Not the regular fucking he's doing now, <laughs> right, 10 right. years later, <laughs> right, right. that we're hearing about no, no, the news but- all the time. Anyways, so uh, then he goes into the bit more and he's saying, he's like, you know, a lot of uh, uh, part of me doesn't even believe that Melania uh, and Donald, like Donald fucks Melania. Oh, this was In insane. fact, you. Do you know uh, uh, those rings that they have that spies would wear that have poison inside of them? I bet Melania has one of those rings, but it's just filled with Donald Trump's sperm. And at the moment of conception, she popped it open and was like, gulp. Oh, my Because Tom God. thinks you eat cum to get pregnant. But also... But everything about that. He's like, he's, Donald, Trump's, no sense. Donald Trump's fucking her, and then his cum goes into the ring. So he can't come in her, and then she eats the cum, but then she still had the kid anyway. Yeah, how did she get the cum in the first place? Also, the spy ring? Yeah. That's the thing that you're talking about? It's like yeah. an idea that an eight-year-old comes up with. Damn, yeah. dude. That's and awesome. then he keeps going on in the Baron thread. He says that um, Baron's going to be the first uh, kid to jack off to internet porn on in the White House. Um, mm. But for legal reasons, I should say that Donald's probably going to be getting impeached before then. 
And it's like, what laws? What laws are you breaking? Like, what is, is, yeah, Donald, yeah. is Donald Trump going to sue you? Do you have to correct it by saying that he's probably going to get impeached? It, it, it's no, that no, you you misinterpreted the wording. What he said was, uh, uh, yeah, but I'm pretty sure Donald is going to get impeached by then for legal reasons, which means he like he meant like. Donald Trump is going to be kicked out of office not for fucking his own son. Right, right. Or and allowing be, his son to jerk yeah, off yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, when he says for legal reasons, he meant that Donald Trump will be acting legally when he is impeached. Mm. Oh, I Which thought... is not how impeachment works. Mm. It's he that's that's it's a failure of him to he somehow found a way to say for legal reasons and mean the wrong thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. thought what he was saying was that his words are such weapons so dangerous that donald trump will hear make america innate again and then file suit yeah against i mean him. just the, going back yeah, to the that, title of the album yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, Bumbaye, uh, Tommy, Tommy, yeah. Bumbaye. there's people that ask him on Twitter, they're like do you know what innate means and he'll post the definition and be like of course i know what it means and it still doesn't make any sense <laughs> it has nothing to do with the album so it's like he he i mean it doesn't make sense as a sentence yeah no yeah he rules yeah he rocks man make america innate to what <laughs> Again, brother. Yeah. Come on, keep up. Like Nick. it used to be. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's amazing. But yeah, and then the obviously the weirdest part was that by track six, he started using an Irish accent. Yeah, and halfway through the politics track. Incredible. He also, another thing I do love about the Donald Trump stuff, as soon as he brings up Trump, he's like, Donald Trump is blah, 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 blah. Kind of makes me think about how George W. Bush. Yeah. <laughs> He has to go back to 2003. Yeah. It's no yeah. matter what. He can't, Incredible. at one point he just, he describes people having sex and he's like, makes you wonder if they just, uh, you know, were like Philip Seymour Hoffman and uh, whoever the bitch was and in, blah, blah, blah. Before and, the and, devil and before knows, the devil you're, knows dead. you're dead. What? That's the movie he picks? Yeah. And he's <laughs> describing what is just a, like probably could not be any more of like just generic. Yes. Just a regular sex. It's just two From people a movie. fucking. Yeah. And it could not be any more plainly that. Yeah. You could pick any sex scene from any movie Mm -hmm. ever, and he uses specifically that sex scene from Before the Devil Knows You're Dead. (laughs) From 2004. (laughs) Just like a minor Philip Seymour Hoffman movie that I only know about (laughs) because I worked at Blockbuster at the time. That's the only reason. It's not a bad movie. It's, yeah, yeah, it's not bad. But it's bizarre that he would choose that. Yeah. Man, Tommy, I wish I was there for that one. Yeah, and then it starts at a certain point, like halfway through that politics bit. He's like, and then Martin O'Malley ran. (laughs) And then, you know, we wondered why he was running. And he didn't do anything for the Democratic Party. And he just has like this Irish inflection. Probably because he said O'Malley. Because in his brain. No, it happens before that. before O'Malley. And then it just eventually morphed into this like, I mean, it's just a full-blown Irish (laughs) accent that just slowly happens. It's almost like... (laughs) It makes Hypnotism. no sense. He's probably he's probably confused too. Like he probably There's wasn't also, planning on he's it. He's got he's schizophrenic. Dude. <laughs> the interaction not- with the crowd is also amazing because they're giving him laughs at the beginning, you know, because mm-hmm. and then like they're listening to an hour of Tom Myers. Yeah, so yeah, like halfway yeah. through, you could tell that they've just been like, mm-hmm. "Oh fuck this!" Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then like yeah. people he says <laughs> he says one thing one time, and a guy goes, "Hey yo," <laughs> and that gets put on the album. <laughs> That doesn't get edited out. <laughs> One point he says something about, uh, he's like, yeah, it almost makes me want to fuck her, like describing some woman. And some guy goes, really? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah. God damn. Dude. I think it's it was a really enjoyable listen. Yeah, I'm and definitely going to give it a, I'm definitely gonna like, give it a fucking whirl myself. And fun. Yeah. yeah. It's better than most comedy specials. <laughs> Just like, doesn't mean it's... Better, go like, out, guys, go out and buy Make America and Nate again. Buy the CD. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my CD's out. It's on Apple Music for free. Okay. All of his shit is. Okay. Yeah, he's on Spotify. Well, he'll get paid like one cent, right? For yeah, it. now I'm looking at his other album, Pitchforks, Torches, and Other mm-hmm. Random Thoughts. That's the one we were at. Right. Uh, oh, is it? I think so, yeah. Yeah. I guess, uh, I guess, yeah, he's a bit that just says called Maryland. <laughs> Capital of the United States. Get Gotta em. love that, right? <laughs> See, I don't mind speed cameras because if, if a regular cop pulls you over, he writes you a ticket. The ticket's like what, 125, up to 200 bucks now for a ticket. I love it. You go ahead and you get the speed camera citations in the mail. What's the fine? 40 bucks. 
I love it, man. Getting one of those speed camera citations in the mail is like getting uh, it's like getting pulled over by Sam's Club. I love it. <laughs> Good, you 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 nailed the point of the joke. <laughs> In case you didn't get it, in case you didn't get that, he went ahead and nailed the point. It's like, that means it's a discount. <laughs> oh. you know, I think my favorite part about that Tom Arnold show <laughs> is being there at the recording was Tom's fans, because he does have fans. Really? No. But there's people that come to see specifically Tom. Mm. There was some big fat guy there who was just wide. He had long hair and he was just the widest. Oh yeah, person. he was sitting right up front. Yeah, that we, he was wearing like a witch's hat. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like this guy. He wasn't like I mean he was fat, but he was just so wide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. hard to explain. His like shoulders were probably like four and a half feet long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On either side. He was a very large man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck dude, I love that night seriously is one of the best nights of my life, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Eldis, my little brother, <laughs> we all piled in. Mm. We listen to it sometimes. You can hear us. Like you can hear I feel like I heckled him a nice amount. I want to hear I want to hear the uh the the bit where he says his parents have a grave. The grave. Yeah. That's wild shit, man. I want to go ahead and thank you guys for coming out on a uh, on a Tuesday night. Uh it's it's free, but you know, to go ahead and uh <laughs> to go ahead and attend this uh this CD recording. Uh, so I'm great, greatly appreciative of that. Uh, I'm also doing this for uh, for uh, my parents. They're a big part of my life. They couldn't mm. uh, they couldn't be here tonight because you know <laughs> they're old and they get tired easily. So <laughs> no 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 no. So the best thing I do is I carry a uh, I carry a smartphone around now. It's which is great. It's oh, got yeah. uh, their picture on them. So I actually, I finally got this. I finally caved and uh, got a smartphone. So I'm being, I've been dragged uh, kicking and screaming into the year 2007. So. Okay, some people are good at math, but you know, I love this because you know, it's, got the, it's got the GPS on it, but the GPS, it's for some reason, like this is supposed to be one of the most technologically advanced things. Like oh, we have the internet yeah. Get on Tom. our phones now. We can connect to any single bit of information yes. we want. We can go ahead and watch entire television shows on our mm -hmm. phone, like yes, as sir. they're, like, even as they're being aired on regular television. Live. Can we come up with a GPS that doesn't sound like an eight year old reading something? Like. <laughs> You head 95 south and turn onto exit 77 to route 24. <laughs> In one mile, make a right onto bus US 1. This just goes on like that this for 45 minutes. Dude. No, which Take is, it is fascinating because on the new CD, Make America Innate Again, yes. yeah. he has a GPS voice <laughs> bit that he brought back. And he said that. Yeah, I mean, all of his, I mean, I've known Tom 13 years. Yeah, it's been an and, insanely long time. And every one of his albums. Maryland Drivers. The same exact thing. <laughs> it's all, it's always a, something about commuting in the DC, Maryland, Virginia area. <laughs> Like this big thing used to be like they got these signs that say speed monitored by aircraft. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember that bit. That just makes me imagine I'll be driving down the street and then suddenly an F fourteen will swoop down and it's like what I mean, okay. <laughs> yeah. That was a big one. Who did he want to have as the GPS voice in the last He said TV? he said I saw an article that said Morgan Freeman yeah, is going right. to be yeah. the voice of the GPS. Did he do a voice? The voice of the GPS. <laughs> <laughs> no uh, one yeah. has <laughs> GPS anymore, <laughs> yeah, Tom. Right. I heard that Morgan Freeman's going to be sponsoring a beeper company. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, geez, I wonder how that'll work. Uh, hey, everybody, it's me, Morgan Freeman. Who wants a beeper? <laughs> Wait, what was the voice he wanted, though? He wanted Samuel Jackson to be the yes. voice. Oh, yes. That's right. He's like, I'm say tired of these motherfucking cars on this motherfucking road. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> 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 
buckets. The king, dude. brother. Swish. Yeah. <laughs> Tom, <laughs> listen to me. Ten thousand dollars cash. Dude, you dude. come on to come down. Fire. Please. <laughs> we'll give you our entire month's Patreon. <laughs> no, it's not getting crazy. You can have all the <laughs> That is ten thousand yeah. dollars. That's what. That's what. No, but the, whatever, whatever. As a group, ten thousand dollars. <laughs> Look, no. listen, Tom. Whatever it's gonna take, we gotta get Anyways. you on here. Uh, uh, yeah. I guess he turned down uh, Legion of Skanks. Did he? He was gonna do him it. Him and Lewis are beefing. He was. Now? Yeah, him and Lewis are beefing. Which is such a funny those Incredible, two worlds dude. Clash of the Titans. <laughs> two, yeah. two, two, two intellectual giants. Gym. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's like Chomsky and what's his name? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's the Buckley uh the yeah, other yeah. gay guy debate. Uh, uh Vidal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there, yeah. When he called him a crypto Nazi and he said he called him yes, gay yes, or something. Yes. A queer. Goddamn queer. queer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a sock you in your cock sucking these, lips. These yeah, are queer. all references that Tom will make on his next yeah. episode. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> his firing line episodes from 1967. <laughs> um, uh, he, oh, what? <laughs> there, he had another really good 90s reference, which was, uh, Something about his, his oh, cat's yeah. hair. His or cat's something. hair. He's like, yeah, it looks like uh, Jenny McCarthy's underwear. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, from singled out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, you know, I, I like a girl like a real Raquel Welch type of girl. <laughs> you know, that's the thing I'm into. Mm-hmm. It's real uh, Tara Lipinski. <laughs> <laughs> Tara you know? Lipinski. <laughs> You know what I mean? Oh, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> just Tom. Yeah, this girl walks in. She looks just like Alicia Silverstone. Yeah. <laughs> Tommy. Yeah. I love that motherfucker, dude. Damn, so he was going to do Legion of Skanks? He's going to do Legion of Skanks. Skank and Fest, right? He's like, uh, Lewis was like, dude, we can have you on the week after our Skanks Fest. And then uh, Tom's like, yeah, I might be able to make it up there. Uh, pending acceptance, like wink, wink. So awesome. he'll only do Legion of Skanks if he gets booked for Skank Fest. Well, they should book him. I know. That's what I said. And Why not? Well, Lewis was like, it's not just me, dude. I got partners. Incredible. Lewis, Wait, shut the fuck up. Botulism coffee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Also, like... Book a f- it, it would be incredible. Yeah, you need to book Tom. How the fuck? Like, I can't believe Tom doesn't realize he's basically getting tricked. Dude, <laughs> like- in, the, in the world of irony, like, this is Tom's moment. Oh yeah. yeah, Tom could be making so much fucking money. I know. Tom could be a celebrity if he wanted. I to. I know. It yeah. is great, like anti. So Thomas has uh, or, uh, Lu- Thomas. I I merged that. Thomas <laughs> Thomas Lewis J Tom. Gomez. Yeah, Thomas J <laughs> Gomez. <laughs> So yeah. Lewis has too much fucking like uh pride. Pride in too much. <laughs> He's got to protect Skankfest. <laughs> <laughs> the integrity of Stank Skankfest. Yeah, I guess he's just got like a limited number of spots or whatever. Give him our give spots. him our spot. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, I'd be down for that. We could cancel we Give him our th- yeah, $300. Yeah. yeah. Let him do let him do an hour. <laughs> give him <laughs> That's come down live. <laughs> is us watching Tom do an hour. Holy fuck. Yeah. I it's I still didn't hear that bit on there where he says his parents have because I remember that happening I remember at the yeah, show yeah, yeah, yeah. and That's I'm like did I imagine that he told a bizarre bit about he probably <laughs> edited it out I don't think he did bro. because I remember what it being is that like he's like yeah I thought my parents were gonna get me a GPS <laughs> for Christmas still the GPS and instead <laughs> maybe he goes me, into that afterwards yeah well he's like instead they got me a plot right next to their graves. <laughs> God. And it was the most in, like the That's the sad. the energy in the, the only room way that changed. could be worse is if his plot was in between oh. theirs. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like how they sleep at night. In bed. <laughs> um, fuck, what was I gonna say? Yeah, um, that was a fucking bizarre. That was bizarre bit when he just fucking. It was like so. It was the most powerful thing he'd ever said in his life, and he mm. got the most genuine, incredible reaction from the crowd. Yeah, and it was just like he, there's no way he edited it out. I because thought, yeah, I thought I imagined. he left. He no, no, you definitely did not. He left when I dropped a glass into the recording. Yeah. Do you remember that? He just that's in there. So that, I the, just remember Mike Turpin stamping his feet. Yeah, like yeah, after yeah. Every bit. I thought that was gonna just fuck everything up. <laughs> oh, no. I remember thinking that was like kind of too far. Yeah. But it <laughs> In point five miles, <laughs> make a left onto South Main Street. And that's how you get the Sean Bolins, the end. Like, uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> that's my brother for but, sure. Uh, uh, <laughs> he's sure. 
I mentioned my parents earlier. Like, they yes, here we go. They've seen me perform a lot of times. They always, you know, they always enjoyed themselves. And, uh, they enjoy you know, that. they're not That's stage parents. On the la- and the la- the most recent one, he's like, yeah, my parents don't really like to talk about my comedy or listen to me talk about it. Uh, they didn't really come out in it, uh, to see shows. So I guess they had some kind of talk where they were like, Tom, you're 35 years old. <laughs> Please just at least try to be the manager of the 7 Eleven. You know? No, it's a stop taking, restaurant. Stop taking orders from, from a 23 year old Bangladeshi guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to give up your comedy dreams. Ron Bender doesn't have legs anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this is booking yeah, agent. Yeah, yeah. Next, Ron, the next one, Ron Ron's is in an a, iron lung. Yeah. <laughs> Ron is the in return of Ron Bender. <laughs> <laughs> the return. <laughs> God damn, dude. Right, I think we're getting to the grave. I think uh, so. By any by, by any means of the word, I mean they appreciate what I'm. They appreciate what I'm doing, like all the sacrifices that I make to go ahead and be able to do what I want to do and uh, and have a good time doing it. And uh, so you know, I, I, I'll sit down with them at dinner and we'll go ahead and talk. And you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and say to my parents, you know, I listen. I love when you support me. I love when you come out. And, you know, you don't you, you don't have to think I'm the funniest person in the world. And also, it's like he's unless it's clear he lives with his parents. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that couldn't be more obvious. When we sit down at dinner together, we still have family dinners. I mean, it's 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 a tragedy. It's a fucking tragedy. It's so sad. You know, they both just looked at me and went, "We don't." Oh. So sad. Thanks, mom and dad. That was both of them. <laughs> both of them said that. Jesus Christ. But um, no, like I said, I, I just turned thirty, and uh, my parents decided to go ahead and take me out to. Uh, they decided to go ahead and take me out to dinner. Uh, 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 it was after the dinner. My father decided to show me this so uh, gift he had gotten for me. It was like, "This is you're going to thank me. This will be a long. This will be a long." This would be a good investment for me, and uh, you'll really appreciate this. So oh I'm like, okay, well, you know, we've all got to get in the car and go see it. So okay, we all all in the car. We're driving, driving. I know as we're driving a while. We go ahead and we pull into a cemetery. Like I'd remember going to this cemetery before. We went ahead and pulled up to this little plot, and uh, we all got out. And we're looking. Around, I'm just sort of looking around. Where where are we going? And uh, and my, my dad stops and says, Thank all right, him. here you go. I'm looking around. It's a little bit dark. I don't see anything. Like, what? So gets out a flashlight and uh, and shines it. And I suddenly remember where I was. Like, this is... I've been to the cemetery plot many times before. It's like, my dad's grandparents are there. My dad's parents are there. He's got his... He's he, he's going to be buried there. He's got a tombstone set up. It's got his name on It's got his name, his Christ. stuff his on it. And right, right in front of that, Who is- a tombstone. My name. <laughs> my date of birth. And that nice, big, empty space. Jesus. For you know what. <laughs> Um, Dad, <laughs> I asked for a GPS. Uh, <laughs> that sounded like an adult, you know. Uh, I mean, Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Oh, fuck. That, I, uh, Honestly, though, yeah. when he said that nice blank space, that was like, that's powerful, heavy. dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was like that's damn. heavy. Yeah, that that had some that had some legs. And that then like, he thought the punchline strong enough to counter yeah, all yeah. that. Um, was, dad. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, he didn't ask for a GPS. He just thought one that doesn't have a kid's voice would be a great callback to his killer GPS. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I remember feeling fucked up after listening yeah. to that. Well, I was trash, so I was like, oh, I, I probably made that up. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think it was real. It was real. I didn't think yeah, it was, it was like a, a vision. <laughs> yeah. God damn. What if Tom's trying to tell us that he's a ghost Ooh. and that he's dead? Yeah, that's not what Tom's trying to tell <laughs> <Yeah>. us. <laughs> no. Um, I think it would be great if his dad just like, son, I got you a present and just killed him and buried him <laughs> in the cemetery. It's finally over, son. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Open your mouth. <laughs> just puts a gun in his mouth. Um, I just, Dad? Like, I, think, I, I wonder what his parents are like, you know? Because based on his descriptions, they're obviously, like, upset. Yeah, they're just fucking normal parents who have a fucked up, ch- like a dumbass kid who like <laughs> didn't do what no, they wanted no, at all. Because people are usually like their parents. I mean, I like I can't imagine that his dad's not like a fucking train enthusiast or some bullshit. I mean, yeah, yeah. his parents are probably dorks. Yeah, yeah, with a yeah. dork kid, right? And you know, they love him. They yeah. do love him. Of course they. I mean, I get. Yeah, yeah. They let him stay at the house. They they haven't kicked him out. Right. Yeah. They got him a plot next to them. They got yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They actually do love him. They probably love him too much. They actually. adore him. Yeah. Yeah. That's sweet. It is like, it's sort of like, do you remember in like when you learned about that myth of the guy with the boulder? Sisyphus? Yeah, Sisyphus. Sisyphus. It's like, that's that's who Tom is. Like, every joke is just he's trying to get to the top. No, man. He's just. And then it just falls it's if back Sisyphus down. Sisyphus was constantly getting rolled over downhill in eternity. Yeah. There's, yeah. No, there's no going back up. He's constantly getting crushed well, by the, the boulder. The point is to get to the top of the hill, and then he. No, he never gets to the top of the hill. He never gets to the top of the hill. Right. It would be like if Sisyphus was like, I'm going to be a professional rock pusher up a hill guy. <laughs> and then he didn't even find a rock. It was just a giant turd. Yeah. <laughs> With references from the 1990s he and ice rolls cream from 7 Eleven. And then at, at, at one time in the mid 2000s, the turd nudges him into the studios of 98 Rock. <laughs> and then that's the end of the story. <laughs> that's the, the peak for him. God damn. And then he goes back down the hill. Yeah. I'm just saying, anyway, man, just to... Tom, Tom, <laughs> anyway, where, where are we playing? Are we going to go back? <laughs> yeah, dude. That's it. We're taking a break. <laughs> Smart ass thing will kick in. In point one miles, fall six feet. <laughs> you have reached your destination. Uh, give it up. For- Was that it? Was that the end? Yeah. That's how he ended the. What is that? Kansas? No, this is a different Tom Myers. It has music. <laughs> he has dust in the yeah. wind playing. This is. This is- <laughs> oh, it's Neil Young. It's a different Tom Myers. Oh, yeah. we are so, uh, gay get little dressed. guys. But I get I do Las Vegas a lot, and they always <laughs> people often ask me where I get my sense of humor. I have a lot. So I grew up in Harford County. It's a you know a lot of uh, audiences whenever they come to the comedy shows, they're always worried about comedians and entertainers going mm-hmm. up and Trump bashing, which is why you yes. know I'm going to try and uh, say something. Pop- but uh, a lot of people ask me how I got started doing comedy. Uh, I love studying history. But uh, before, but uh, a lot, but uh, but uh, Marilyn, though. But uh, where? Am I? But uh, before I got into, uh, I am happy to be back in Maryland, though. Maryland's my home state. This is my hometown. Really glad to be Maryland, though. He's happy to be back. I am happy to be back in Maryland. This isn't a soundboard. This is just how all his <laughs> tracks, tracks start. Right. Every single track. Maryland, but, and, but uh. uh <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah. I do want to hear interesting job because I think all that's right. about 7 Eleven. All right. Let's do interesting but, job. But uh, a lot of people ask me how I got started doing comedy. Uh, mm. or, a lot. Know, uh, <laughs> what I did before I got into comedy. Uh, I actually <laughs> had uh, an opportunity to go do something where I had the potential anyway to go do something where I could make a lot more money than what mm. I'm doing right now. Uh, held a lot of... Uh, yeah, that's uh, to be a famous movie star. <laughs> <laughs> that was his other job choice. If comedy didn't work out, he was going to do famous movie Action. star or international playboy <laughs> right. spy. Yacht guy. <laughs> These were other careers he considered that he could have mm-hmm. easily achieved. What was the, Adam? What was the thing you said about Ellen DeGeneres? <laughs> oh, oh, dude, that was the best part. He's like, that's the best. Like, yeah, I got to get my hair cut uh, uh, because, uh, but I don't want to get it cut too short though, because uh, people are going to start thinking I look like Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> yeah, he is a bald man. <laughs> He's bald. Yeah, we, you have a Chairman Mao haircut. <laughs> he your hairline not... starts at the back of your earlobe. <laughs> he does <laughs> not look anything like yeah. Ellen DeGeneres. He's got those beautiful twinkly blue eyes right. and that cute pixie cut. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's that I think might be my favorite that's, joke. That's, that's the one we laughed. And I guess he's sort of mo- she's trying to mock Ellen. Is she the butt of that joke? Yeah, no, yeah. it's because everybody does that joke about I got my hair cut. Look, I look, look like a lesbian. lesbian right, right. Yeah. yeah, which works if you have like boyish features. Yeah. yeah, I I have like a I get lesbian haircuts all the time. Yeah, mm-hmm. I got a very KD Lang sort of look. Yeah, to yeah, me. yeah, yeah. yeah. 
You shave your pussy too. No, does Katie Lang shave her pussy? No, but you fucking do. idiot. <laughs> Katie First Lang's got a. If I had boosh. one, I wouldn't. Yeah, you you do. No, I wouldn't. Your pussy is the uh, first of all the space in between your balls. First of all, I could tie my dick around your dick, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 tie that shit in a little bow. What the fuck? I'm gonna tie my. Are you dick. fucking serious? I'm gonna man? tie it around your dick Dude, and cut off the no, circulation. I'm gonna tie a big serious? fat bowline knot around your <laughs> cock with my cock. <laughs> Yeah, and, and choke your little do not do peanut that. cock to death. Do not fucking do that. You like guys a didn't snake learn that. Eating a smaller <laughs> snake, <laughs> like a fucking anaconda. Or a Boris. Yeah, eating a pig. Do not <laughs> do that. Yes, that's right. My dick is a pig. Yeah. yeah well, mine's I got the little winky you piece dick. Of shit. Hey, you bitch. scale it down. The regular dick size no. is the pig's terrible. Mm-hmm. No, the pig no. is not the one you want. Pig's big. Imagine a little pig. It's a really shake. big pig. <laughs> no, it's, not, it's, it's one of those big boards. It's a Christmas no, it's, ornament. I went to a. No, I went to a, a pig farm. It's got once. little Oshkosh I went overalls to a on. Pig. Yeah, yeah. Little teacup no, it is pig. not. Yeah. Yeah. It is not a teacup pig. It is a very big pig. A big pig. A very big pig. I went to a pig farm once. It's a hog. Yeah. Yes, it is. I went to a pig farm once, and they were really big. No. And that's the size of Is a hog pig. a boy pig? Uh, I don't know. All right. What's a woman pig, then? A sow. Hog with? A sow. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Y'all, y'all don't know animals. I didn't spend time on the farm like you, dude. Y'all ain't done knowing animals. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I'm done knowing all the animals. You ever see fucking... You go to, like, ag fair and see how fucking big pigs are in real life? That's oh, what I'm yeah, talking they're about. Huge. That's it's the size terrifying. of my dick. And they're hairier <laughs> than you think. <laughs> yeah. They're way hairier. Yeah, they yeah. look they like horse bald. Ass hair. Yeah. Yeah. Like my dick. That video of that news reporter holding that chicken that starts flapping its wings. And he's Just, like, ah, runs away. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's Adam's dad. <laughs> it's not my dad. If you want to know what dad. he looks like. That's it. I am happy to be back in Maryland, though, Maryland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maryland. I'm a, I am happy to be back in Maryland, though, Maryland. From where? Where were you, Tom? Vegas, dude. He told oh, you. Oh, right. He's, they, they fly him out to Vegas all the time. Yeah. You know, they, uh, they do. The casino boss. Tom, just come do the show, baby. Tom, please. Please, please do it. I got to start listening to the Politipod. He has a podcast? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The Politipod. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. He has a podcast? I haven't listened to it yet. Oh, either. What the fuck are we doing? I know. We wow. really need to do. Oh, fuck. Yeah. We oh, should do that and find that, that out. He, he posted, he posted a, a poll on Twitter yesterday. He's like, yeah, who did a better job uh, eviscerating Sarah Huckabee Sanders? Michelle Wolf at the White House Correspondents' Dinner or me, Tom Myers, on my CD? <laughs> <laughs> me? <laughs> the poll saying who did a better job, he Michelle does, Wolf or me? <laughs> he does have a Sarah Huckabee Sanders chunk. That is, um, yeah. yeah. And then and then uh, somebody responded like, uh, well, that's not a fair comparison because Michelle Wolf is a comedian. <laughs> And uh, Tom, the guy's, oh, yes. the guy's avatar is just an up close picture of his eye. And Tom responds, "Yeah, nice avatar. I just ran into your twin." And he posts the CBS logo, which is like an eye. <laughs> it's also an What's eye. It? Yeah, it's also that's an the eye. Burn? That's that's it. That's the <laughs> so, Damn. Yeah. He. I, another thing I love that he does. It reminds me of that. I don't know if you've seen that Vine, but that like nerd in the computer room. Oh and yeah, I love that Vine. Him, yeah. And he turns around. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna say it. And they're like, say it, just say it. And he goes, I don't care that you broke your elbow. <laughs> oh, no. Fuck. That's a great Poor kid. Yeah. I don't care that you broke your elbow. Uh, you know what else Tom does that I think is great? He calls people Gomer. Yeah. Which is like, I don't even know what that is. Like Gomer a Pyle. Louis, Louis J. Gomo. Gomer. 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 Yeah, Gomer. <laughs> yeah, dude. He fucking, uh, he's like, he's going at it with Louis. He like retweeted where Louis was like, uh, the illustrator for our festival had to drop out last minute. And Tom like gleefully retweeted it. <laughs> That's a hilarious thing oh, to retweet. Oh. And- Damn. He should, he should fucking book him anyway. Yeah. Louis, please do it. Anyway. Tom Myers, Tom comedian. Myers, <laughs> and your musical guest, <laughs> Tom Myers, <laughs> from that Spotify. that girl with the saw in that video, playing the playing the the saw. Mm. That's such a weird. That's that's anyway. It's the dude. greatest video of all time. Yeah. I just can't stop looking at his hairline. <sighs> yeah, it looks like a love seat. <laughs> 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 uh, we're gonna have special guest. Sheila Dixon will be there. And the Mr. Mayor. Tom How about Myers. the new Subway mask? Oh, fuck. Should we, tr- should we offer Tom like six grand? He won't do it. He's mad at show. Nick. <laughs> He's mad at me. And then people keep, people are like being mean to Tom. And it's like, I'm never, I've never been mean to Tom. 
The only thing I've ever You've done been mean to Tom. is You've publicly exclusively <laughs> been to mean to Tom uh, no. in, on the podcast in person every at that show that you opened for him and mocked him six years ago. Pitchforks. What was I'm it not called? mean to him? It's just like I'm realistic about what Tom is, but I wish him the best, and it's like. We love you him too. Tom's, do hilarious. Actually, Tom's hilarious. I literally do. Yeah, he doesn't understand why he's funny. It's the same thing with, with Seth. It's right. like you know, it's right. a guy that's like very funny, but not for the reasons they want to be. He yeah, is yeah, not yeah, on yeah. purpose funny. Yeah, so he is very funny. Bong hit transplant is a great joke. Which is like, as a comedian, like you're always going to be partially that. You know, yeah, I mean, of it, no, there's nothing fucking worse than the comedian that takes himself seriously. Yeah, which, you know? which Tom does. <laughs> which, which is you, of course, which is yeah. great. Which is also sort of what's great. You know, how how awesome would it be right. if it Tom like just leaned into it and let it and like open for us at every Please. live show? Like you, uh, could, that would people are gonna harass. Him. I've never said anything bad about Tom, and he t- he acts like I'm to call him like a shittiest comic in the world or so. I mean, I did, but yeah. You know, it's like, <laughs> so did Nikki. Yeah, I mean, okay. How about yeah? This? That's Baltimore We're just gonna royalty, give though. Tom all of door. Yeah, Tom gets the whole door. <laughs> if Dude, he, Tom, if you're listening. <laughs> I love Tom. that picture he posted. It's like, the return of Ron oh, Bender. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's just in a wheelchair now. <laughs> no, he posted a, on his... On his <laughs> <laughs> that poor man. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, don't take a pic, man. <laughs> the triumphant return. The triumph <laughs> return. <laughs> oh, God. He's healing he posted, from the gout surgery uh, quite nicely. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> he posted a pic of that tweet lewis did of like everyone's asking me to book this guy tom myers he must be pretty cool and tom posted on instagram was like how's your day going everybody (laughs) (laughs) i hope he does it yeah everyone's requesting this guy and i still probably won't book him how's your day (laughs) (laughs) what are you guys up to you know he adjusted the belt (laughs) tom myers (laughs) a comedian Does Tommy. he say a comedian or the comedian? I, I think he says a comedian. A comedian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's such a good intro. Well, the fucking girl playing. They don't the like song. puns. I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he didn't even tell a pun. Yeah. Uh, God, I want that. I want to book him for something, but he'll never do anything with us. We almost we tried to like. We're all blocked. I, I've, right? I've, yeah. Numerous yeah. times throughout the years, I've, I've come up with scams to book Tom for <laughs> fictional venues in the middle of the country. Well, there, <laughs> there is a way. I but think. It, that's always felt like a little too mean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah.